You know, I'm, I'm unfamiliar with Arabic names. If I read a book and it contains a dozen Arabic names, they quickly become blurred in my mind. I can't retain them. Well, don't let this single word uh, have that effect on you. Neotni, neotni, neotni. You've heard of the, of the prefix neo, uh, and you've heard of a neonatal uh, in the hospital for babies, newborns. Neotni. Neotony is the retention by adults in a species of traits previously seen only in juveniles. And it's sometimes called pedomorphosis. you got to put a name on it. Sometimes science invents some awkward names. Neotony is not so hard to remember if you remember the neonatal unit in the hospital for newborns. Again, neotony is the retention by adults in a species of traits previously seen only in juveniles. Uh, one neotenous trait in humans, I would say, is um, the existence of uh, vellus hair. While neoteny is not necessarily a physical state experienced by humans, uh, pedomorphic characteristics in women, in other words, childlike uh, characteristics in women, are widely acknowledged as desirable by men. For instance, vellus hair is a juvenile characteristic. Uh, that, that vellus hair is the fine little, in, almost invisible hairs all over your body. Uh, that you can see them uh, if you if they're caught in the sunlight. Uh, you take a photograph of a woman's face um, um, with the light shining behind at, at an angle, uh, illuminating the tiny little hairs on um, what in a man in a boy would be called peach fuzz. Okay, peach fuzz. Uh, women have hair all over their bodies, but it's a little fine hair, and uh, in in most men. Depending on the the race, uh, the vellus hair is covered over by um, denser, thicker hair. Vellus hair is a juvenile characteristic. However, while men develop longer, coarser, thicker, and darker terminal hair, terminal hair means like uh, the hair that you get toward the end of your development. And uh, it's it's triggered by um, uh, by hormones, and uh, the hormone is turned on by a gland. Uh, the gland is there uh, because the man has uh, different chromosomes. While men develop longer, coarser, thicker, and darker terminal hair through sexual differentiation, women do not, leaving their vellus hair visible. Uh, remember the expression, the naked ape. I'm not saying, uh, for those of you that are not familiar with Darwin's theories, I'm not saying that man descended from a monkey or a chimpanzee or a gorilla but I suspect that uh, these animals had a common ancestor with man uh, who und undoubtedly no longer exists and uh, whose, uh, whose fossil remains um, are being found. I believe this uh, fossil that was called Lucy uh, was um, a fossil that sheds light on uh, the this common ancestor that we had with um, certain of the apes. But I'm I'm not primarily focused here now on um, bodily characteristics. I'm um, I'm focused on psychological traits. Inhibition of maturity is what we're talking about here. Failure to grow up is what we're talking about here. Neotony. So uh, let me introduce what may become a series of videos with uh, the term neotony. 
and um, the point of this series of videos will be to explain my theory of man's origins, the mechanism whereby man originated, and the thing, the most uh, distinguishing characteristic of man, in my opinion, is the capacity to think the mind is what differentiates man from other animals.